Hello guys and welcome to episode 56 of my Yesh campaign in Steel Division 2 playing on the Soviet side. Previously we had an insane nail-biting battle where I managed to hold back the enemy 1v3. It was down here, I think it was the 42nd Rifle Regiment. You can see how depleted they are now. But they were holding back these two units, the 101st Mounted Brigade HQ and the 1st Battalion of the 4th Infantry Regiment, plus an artillery unit. So that was pretty crazy. Now we're going to have to do something similar against the 2nd Battalion of the 3rd Infantry Regiment. There's quite a lot of infantry here we're going to have to deal with. A lot of high veterancy infantry. So this is going to be very difficult. I'm going to have to make sure I keep my own veterancy up. And we're going to have to watch out for that artillery. Don't think I have any aircraft that can back us up. It's tactical battle. Jump on in. Alright, looks like they're not actually going to just decide to bring in the artillery. So that's really good. It means that we will be in a much better spot. Just 1v1, we should be okay. I've just got to be on point with my uh, trading of units. And right, let's go ahead and drop in some PTRSs. I'm going to try and get some transport snipes in early if I can. In the center of the map. On the left side here, I'm kind of tempted to just go for like a few Maxims. But... Not sure how good that'll be. We'll definitely put one on the corner. I'll probably try and bring in an AT gun here as well. I don't wish those AT guns had. Ah, we can use these ones. I'm gonna say Jeeps would be better. I'm gonna unload this here, mainly because they might be moving troops over on the corner. I'm gonna bring in an OB. For the ridge, I'll bring in an OB for the right hand side as well. And we'll have an OB on this back side here. Unless I want to put it. Yeah, I'll put it there. It should be okay. Putting it here would be. Actually, no, we'll, we'll keep it up on the hill. I don't want it to get shot up by machine guns. Right, in the town then, we're going to need some proper infantry, so let's grab some Gavardia. I think we'll go for Gavardia DP. And I'm going to bring in a couple leaders with those. So we'll have four go to the middle road, we'll have four go to the right road. And I think that's how I'm going to spread it. I could also have like a squad of avtos with each of those might be quite nice for dealing with the infanterist. And pop one of these into each of these buildings. I might have one of them go on the right hand side or left hand side here but trouble with these buildings is that it's kind of like sections in between that you're gonna have to run through. That's kind of awkward. We'll definitely need some units further on the right and left, so let's just drop a Gavardia or two. And I'll put a Gavardia DP with this OB and we'll put Gavardia DP to go over here with the normal Gavardia. Okay, let's try that. Let's launch the battle. Off we go. So the PTRSs will be zooming ahead. They got the motorcycles are pretty quick, and then the jeeps. The 45 mils are pretty good. Uh, where's my OBs? Did I remove the OB on this side? I feel like I might have. Yeah, I did. Oops. Well, we're gonna have the one set up on the right. So that's okay. The one over here, that can be delayed because it's only going to go like up on one of these hills anyway. Yeah, we're going to want to pop as many transports as we can at the start.
Go on, get him. Get him. Oh, come on. Oh, that's so sad. Nice, just one. Only one? You're kidding me. Oh, don't get hit. <laughs> that one guy. Yeah, we put him on return of fire. Nice, we're getting shots onto those ones on the ridge, so that's exactly what I wanted to happen. Okay, we're at least going to kill that, so that's good. Get those Avtos unloaded, get the Cavalier unloaded. Make them off. Oh, we still died. A lot of inerrancy. Ah, uh, come on. Kill off the Linnetist. This isn't good. They're really close. Uh, let's go ahead and bring up some snipers here. Ooh, it's all the Kalari. Run away, dude. Run away. Oh, no. They're dead. God damn it. i uh, bring up all the Maxims there as well. Pull those back. Gonna have these go up on the hill. Ooh, not good. That's fine. If we can kill that Kalari squad, that's fantastic. So we'll keep demolishing those. Let my Gavalia kill off the ZB. Not sure if that's technically close enough. No, it's not. That's a really bad place for them. Oh, no. Alright, um... I don't know how I'm going to deal with this. We're going to have to bring in... Just a load of Gavardia, I guess. Because they're too close for my Maxims to be effective. I need to use some, like, veterancy on my infantry. I'm really gonna make that work. Let me move this OB across. Please just kill that ZB. Not that hard. Okay, finally. Yeah, so they're pushing right up on us here. So my normal Gavardia squad should be fine. I'm gonna have these start attack moving away from this. It's just not gonna happen otherwise. Alright, let's cancel one of these. And we'll use a leader instead. It's gonna be really important. Alright, that's gonna have to fall back. I'm going to have these Gavardia, like a couple of them, move over. We'll keep trying to move up a bit here with the Avtos. Getting into the 100 meter range with these is pretty a good idea because we have two submachine guns on both of these Gavardia. Of course, they killed the leader. Okay, let's keep pushing forwards. Get these Maxims into a better position. Hopefully the OB can pop a few transports here. I might have an AT gun go join it. Okay, more Gavardia please. This one can run home.
We're not trading very well at all at the moment. Pretty bad. Okay. I might need to bring up like a couple separately for the left just to hold that. Uh, but we'll bring up some Kanaya. Um, hopefully we can take out the Kalari there. We'll see. We're starting to push them back quite a bit, which is good. Like, starting to pin them down at least, but my guys are taking a lot of damage. Good engagement for us there. They're moving across the open with no cover. Same here, on the left. I need to take out those Pionieri before they get close. Oh, there's Mortifier coming in. Take cover! Or run away! <laughs> oh god. Not good. I do still have the PTRS. I should get that into a better position. Because if I can pop some of this stuff before they come in, that'd be fantastic. Okay, that's another kill. It's good. Oh, we should take out the PNA and the Infanterist here. I am slowly but surely losing my infantry. In the town though, this is really bad for us. I can probably get a Maxim into the church actually. That might help. It might cause him to get shot up by Kalari, but we'll see. Okay, we've got the infantry in front of that, we've got the AT gun here, bring in sniper, couple snipers there, I'm gonna unload these and push for that, those tree line, and uh, we'll unload the Kanaya, get some more Gavadi in here, Try and move these forwards. I feel like the more I move forwards, the more I'm gonna get my units killed there. It's a tough old fight so far. This OB opening up is really good. It's used up its heat rounds. To get the Kanaya further up, I might also bring in a commander. I wonder if that can actually engage anything. Yeah, it looks like it can. <clears throat> Didn't manage to dodge with the Avtos fast enough, unfortunately. Uh, let's have these go to the left side there. <clears throat> this Gavardia is going to run out of DP ammunition soon. We're going to need probably some mortars, I think. I could also bring in the, the OB up on this hill now. Maybe further to the left. The PTRS got another kill, that's good. If I can, I'll get another leader in for these Gavadi on this side. We've moved in phase base, we now get five points each. I mean, technically they get a bit more than we do, which is unfortunate, but... Let's let this, that sniper do its job. Move these maxims forwards. Avto is doing some damage here, but not as much as I, I'd want them to. We'll try and pull them back a little bit. Gavadia eventually died on the left side. Bring in a couple more Gavadia there. Unload this, make sure those give us extra veterancy. That Gavadia's gotta go.
I think normal Gavardia are better in this situation. Because they have submachine guns. Makes a big difference. At range, however, the Gavardia just do so much better. I think the Maxim in the church is doing a lot of damage. Well, not necessarily damage, but it definitely helps us out a lot. Gonna get some good shots off with the OB, I hope. I'm gonna try and get all these low health Gavardia out of here. I need to replace them though. Any future units will now be like 3 star veterancy which would be really nice. Maybe I can push across the open here a little bit. Capture some flag spec. Let's keep bringing in more. Uh, let's not let that die. Get in the building, please. Definitely have them engage the infantry here, though. A lot of fire coming onto that Maxim now. If I can catch them moving across, it's really, really good for us. We'll get a lot of damage done. Right, there's a fire in their SVTs, which is nice. Uh, let's see if we can get these into line of sight. Get that OB in there. Oh, we'll win this engagement eventually. This one's been wrecked. Move this one up. So now we're starting to get good value out of our units. Uh, this Sapoli should run though, and should probably just get something to help over here. Maybe just as this three that I can push forwards eventually. Got to keep these moving up. I'll keep my leader moving up. That Cavalier is in trouble. Have that one run back. Have these two push forwards. I'll keep that one where it is. Uh, Cavalier DP died in the open. That sucks. Sobe doesn't have line of sight still. So we get that to unload in position and hopefully it can help us out. Right, let's see if we can capture a couple more flags. I'm going to try and jump in the same house as these Pioneeri. Never mind, I'll just run them down. It's fine. Oh, we're still engaging over here, but I guess they might have run out of ammunition or something. It's hard to say. To keep my leaders moving up, it's pretty important I keep the leadership going forwards because that's what's allowing us to trade well against them. 
The standard Gavardia didn't absolutely fantastically. We'll start pushing a bit more aggressively, I think. Gavardia on the left, though, suffering. Good, we managed to take out the Pianelli there. We've got the Gavardia into that gap. Gonna grab a couple snipers for the edge and a Maxim. Alright, we are 18 to 7 now. It was a bit rough, but I think we've sorted it. I have that unit. Just run back. We'll have Maxims engage these infantry units. I'll have a sniper come over here as well so we can see them and engage them at range. Okay. Uh, this Gavardia might as well stay back because it's pretty low on health. These two can keep pushing. Like when you outnumber singular units, it's kind of okay to push like I am in, out in the open. But generally you don't want to take an engagement where your infantry are not in cover. Whilst the enemy are. Because it's just going to cause you to lose loads of units. But yeah, we've managed to get this back on track. It was a bit scary, but I think we've saved it. And if I can get a major victory, that would be good for me. I'll be happy with that. It'll be still far and away. This has only got three shells left. Really good. Uh, that it's used up all its ammunition. That's a lot of value out of that. Um, we might lose, though. Unless this can fire. Gavardia... Do you have more submachine guns than the infantry? I think, yeah. So they should technically win at close range, but that's a two v one. I'm going to bring in some of these mortars. I think we've dealt with the units on the left there. That's good. Alright, those guys did lose, unfortunately. Gonna move this Gavardia across the open there. Not really any Ventivisht faster than I would like. Um, I would. Uh, that's why I'm bringing in these mortars. Hopefully, we can just mortar that soon. They are slowly getting pinned, but DP machine guns are just so terrible. Our interface C. Don't think there's really much more for us to worry about. Okay, this unit probably wants to back off. Gonna get killed otherwise. But, took those two flags. That's good. Uh, the Kavadi over here must have bumped into something. In Pantherish or something like that. Uh, but overall, this is job done. I'm just gonna keep, probably keep it sped up for the most part. Run down these mortars. No point in just letting them take us out. Get the sniper to move up there. 
fine. You can get the sniper to move up on the right there as well. Get this uh, reloaded and we should be able to support the sniper when it finds things to shoot at. Uh, poor mortar squad, they're like, oh no! <laughs> yeah. I give an idea, just victorious, charging through. 22 to 2 in flags now. Should be able to kill off that infantry and capture another flag. Yep. Great, here we go. That is ultimate value and uh, a total victory. I will take it. Nice. Yeah, a few of our losses were like PTRS squads and stuff, so that doesn't really matter. Cool. And, well, they just got completely destroyed. Uh, that's good. <laughs> will we get attacked anywhere else? We will see. Uh, they did have stuff here at Roman, but they moved the recon away. Are they going to let us take that? I think that's a reinforcement point, maybe. It'd be crazy when we surround this lot. So many artillery pieces in there. Imagine if they were bombarding us the whole time. I'm really hoping that these all get disorganized. Although they haven't gone to like the grey barrel yet, so I don't think they will. I think it'll be the turn after next. I moved up those disorganized units towards us. Okay. Trying to keep an eye on things. Imagine being part of this sort of little garrison on the other side of the bridge. That would be this would be like such an important thing to hold because if that collapsed, it would open up my entire backside. <laughs> <laughs> be really really bad all right turn over we got there all right let's go to the left side i think roman is a reinforcement point it is yeah so we can move on there and then bring in infantry right on that spot so i think i'm probably going to do that um we'll move down there we go reinforcement point I might come across this bridge uh, with one of these. I'm going to go straight into the face of this MG battalion. That MG battalion would be so annoying to attack. But what I can do is bring in anything from the KMG or the 6th Tank Army. So this is a completely huge artillery <laughs> unit. Some AA. We can bring in the Mech Brigade, which has a bunch of Shermans. Uh, this one is Valentine's. Then we got the Katushas. <laughs> Look how many Katushas there are here. Oh my god. Alright, and then we got the 22nd Guards Tank Brigade, which is just tanks. So that's T-34s. And the Assault Gun Brigade. Then we got the 45th Mechanized Brigade. I feel like one of these Mechanized Brigades would be a good idea. But they are quite costly. Um, what about this Tank Corps HQ? It's like rever Reserve Tank Corps. Oh, this has uh, Churchills in it. Interesting. That would be quite good. That would be really good, actually. Only 20 points as well. Pioneer Brigade. Oh, but this one's nice. It comes with three, and we get a motorized battalion, which is really good at the moment because, yeah, I might bring in these guys. A motorized battalion would be really nice because I can use them as recon. We'll keep the 223rd or 233rd uh, right next to the engineer battalion. These guys do have some plans tracks, so we'll have to be careful about that, but in general, should be all right. 
do you have Avtais? Um, some Straki. Uh, this one might be better suited to taking them on because of Sapere. And we've also got Avtos in there. There's Avtos with each of these. Yeah, that would be better. Uh, let's have those go through then. And leave this one here. And this one can move this way as well. And we're going to have this one come down to the left. I'll create a little bridge head there. I'll get my mortars down. Oh, these are Andrushes and Katushes. And we are going to have to get this guards to come across. Um, I mean, maybe I should have just gone for this around this turn. Actually, with like one of those units, just had it drive across a little bit so we could have met up. We'll have that one just zoom down. Uh, this one's going to continue down the road, though. Um, I am going to want to break down some of these disorganized units, and we're going to have to keep the corridor open here, otherwise it's going to get really bad, and we're going to end up surrounded. So we're going to have to make uh, uh, the right choices here. Uh, let's go ahead and dig that in. Um, we can move this into here. These guys should be dug in, but they're not yet. We're going to move those guys here. I'm just going to create like a, a wall down this side. The unit needs to be bombarded again. Let's not forget about that. And then we're going to want to move these down. I might bombard this unit. For the rest of them, you can keep moving. I probably should set up some AA here. I might bring this AA as far down as I can next time we'll set that up. So that these units defending on this side uh, won't get affected too hard. Um, this unit can move down. I'll put the catchers just behind that instead. This AA can come across. Keep that unit there I think so it can kill that unit. Um, this one in the meantime, can come down here. And that can reinforce those if needs be. All right, so that's a lot of movement done there. Keep that one unit there. Uh, this unit needs to come down. I can zoom all the way down. Okay. Right, let's have a look at what we want to do on the front here, because we can just destroy some of these disorganized units, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, we can destroy that one, for example. Uh, the question is, though, do I want to? Because technically they're disorganized, so there might, might not be any reason to. It would just put my units in a bad position. We could just stay here. Like we could dig in that unit. Uh, this unit we could dig in as well. I mean, it might be worth just digging in that unit as well. But those ones are fine. Can we attack that unit? This one would help in phase A. Bombard that. And can we bombard this one as well? Don't think we can. So this would be Venatore de Munta and uh, Venatore de Care. If I attack it with a 540th, that might be a good idea, but I don't want this to move into the road. That would be bad. So I'm going to move down the tanks here before we do this, and I'm going to attack this with this. Okay, I pushed them over. Lovely. Perfect. Get them away from the road. Squeeze them in a bit more. Uh, that is still vulnerable to attack, so... It might be worth just holding off on doing anything else here. With these units nearby at least, so that they can reinforce. Uh, could maybe leave the 48th Guards Mortar Regiment there. I'm going to have this one carry on down. And I'm going to move this one into that position, I think. Okay. 
I'm going to bombard this unit, even though it's disorganized, because I think it probably is going to recover next turn. Uh, these are all fine. We could go ahead and just destroy some of this artillery with the 20th Guards Tank Brigade. I also kind of want to take out one of these, but the Regiment Group 97 would join in. And this 6th Guards Mo Motorized Rifle Brigade is pretty good. Uh, they are very chunky. I think we maybe make this attack. Bring in those in phase A, but then they wouldn't be able to reinforce those. Might be worth bringing in some planes as well. And let's take that away. I'm going to bring in planes, and the main reason I'm doing that is because they can bring in planes as well, so they probably will. So I'll bring in, I think, the Yak-7 or the Yak-9Ts. We're not really going to be up against much. Just the remainder of these units, so the pack 40. As that's to open. There will be probably this unit as well. Which is just going to be the leader units and uh, the recon units. Yeah, we'll use this one. Tactical battle. Okay, never mind. I was going to say, and jump on in, but uh, nope, not this time. Can I leave that there? Probably. Could be okay. Such a big unit. This is like an entire brigade. Like, just so many Gavadri in there. Alright. This guard's cav needs to move up slightly and then probably dig in, I'm thinking. Just for the time being. Because we're probably going to collapse this salient down here somewhere. If I maybe have the 224th next turn, start moving across. Then they can meet up with these guys as they cross. We can definitely take out that. I'm going to take out this. And that's going to give us a lot of ground to move through. Where are we going to want to destroy these guys? The 1st Battalion of the 89th. We'll, we'll take them out so that we can create a wider front here. I'm just going to bombard the ones that aren't dug in up here. Um, let's move this forwards and I can move that there and I can move that forwards one space and we can deploy A again good I might also want to bombard on this side uh, what would I rather not come up against that recon group would be annoying let's uh, bombard them Okay, and I'm going to move this down slightly and we'll deploy them again. And this might as well come forwards and deploy again. Okay, so yeah, all of these are moved. Uh, we brought in more reinforcements here, which is good. Is there any others that I could bring in actually? Let's have a quick look. I think these are all 20 and 30 points, and then the 6th tank army. There is these guys, like my the AA. We could get the AA in down here. It wouldn't necessarily be a terrible idea, uh, just to kind of block off any help further up. I am going to move down these guys. I'm curious if there's anything in our way. Nope, doesn't look like it. And these ones. This is just an airborne regiment. If this actually got attacked on its own, that would be really bad because it's not a very strong unit at all. So our salients are getting bigger and bigger. We're getting there. We're slowly seeping through Romania, but 
it's uh, taking a while. It is taking a while for sure. We'll definitely cut off all of this pocket sooner than later. I'll probably cut off this pocket. I'm just going to dig in, I think, around these mostly and let them attack me at the end of the turn. Probably how I'm going to deal with most of this so that we can speed up the turns a little bit in order to uh, finish things off. I am still going to have to make some attacks down the side here. But we'll do that next time around. Because unfortunately, guys, it has been my time. But yeah, I think I'm going to take out the 2nd Battalion of the 1st Infantry Regiment. I could also maybe just attack the 1st uh, Battalion of the 5th Infantry Regiment here. That might be a better choice. Because the artillery doesn't really pose much threat. But the uh, the infantry squads can be quite annoying. And if I use a tank brigade to just take them out, that could be quite nice. We could attack them. And then... We'll probably do another attack here on the 1st Battalion of the 89th, and then we'll probably leave the rest of those and just go around them. So I'll likely just attack with the 8th Guards Airborne Regiment first, and then have one of these move up and dig in the following turn. Alright. That is it for now. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.